Miss Mason, sorry to disturb you. Could I have a quick word before we start class? Ahem. Sure, Maddie. Is everything okay? Everything's fine. I just wanted to ask you a question. Remember you sent me to Mrs. Sherlamon for my class assignment? Oh, yes. It was for your presentation, wasn't it? Was Mr. Sherlamond helpful at all? Well, not really. He's a travel agent. He knows a lot about different countries, but mainly for booking holidays and stuff. I don't think he was the right person to ask. Okay, no worries. I understand. Remember, I had another suggestion. Mrs. Canabera. <laughs> Be quiet, please, Claire. So, have you tried Mrs. Canabera? No, I haven't. I wasn't sure where to find her. When you mentioned her, I thought that she was a new teacher, but I asked Miss Avak and she said we don't have a teacher with that name in the school. I know, she's a special teacher. Here, go and find her. What's that? What's going on? My hands are becoming see-through. Did you call me, Maddie? I heard that you were looking for some information on Kayuni. Are you playing tricks on me? Where are we? Maddie, you call me. You have a class presentation, remember? I think I'm dreaming. Who are you? I'm not scared of you. Calm down, Maddie. I'm here to help. You're just navigating your surroundings for helpful information. I can't help you, but I realise that I've lost my knowledge hat. Okay, but all of this is crazy. I saw an old hat if you're looking for that one there. Where is it? Let me see. Look, it's right there at the corner. That's much better. On November 14th, there was a very odd signal that was observed near Kayoni. Seismic waves were emitted by an unknown source at a frequency range far below that of normal earthquakes. Seismologists came up with first ideas of what could have caused the signal. A large submarine phreatic eruption or the slow prolonged roof collapse of a volcanic magma chamber. Are you holding a pen, Maddie? I hope that you got that information. Going back to what I was saying, and to make the long story short, the volcano and the mystery signals are characteristics of Kayoni. You may also want to check the signature animal of the country, the white ear lemur. Hello, hello, something's happening. What's going on? My book is all blurred. Sorry about that, Maddie. My hat is not working properly sometimes. So, I was talking about the lemurs in Kayoni just before I was interrupted. Lemurs are particularly known for being helpful to tourists. They help tourists to find their way when they are lost in Kayoni. I'd even go as far as saying that Kayoni and lemurs are the opposite of the drop bears in Australia. Have you ever heard of Australian drop bears? They don't like tourists at all. They have the reputation to suddenly land on tourists' heads, attacking them. That's them here. So here you go. Check these facts out. They'll be helpful for your presentation. I don't have time now to tell you more, but please come back if you get stuck. Miss Canabera? Hello, Miss Canabera? I can't see you anymore. But what was that about the lemur helping tourists? I didn't understand. What are the drop bears in Australia? It all sounds weird. I'd better check out these facts. Hold on, there's a computer there. Let me see. 
That would be cheating, though. You know what? I have an idea. I'm going to the library. How did I not think of that before?